Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna learn how to make personalized license plate frames. Stick around. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela with Flip and Flutter Creations and today we are doing a sublimation on a car license plate frame. So I got this frame from Infinity and it comes with the frame there. I think it might come with the screws too. I've got to check or those are on your car. I don't really know. We'll check on that. So I have my image, which I've printed out. It is using eight and a half by 14 a sub paper instead of the eight and a half by 11. So your, if you have the Epson 2720, it can print eight and a half by 14. You just have to buy the larger paper and you can find that on Amazon and I'll link that down below for you. So I already have my design. I don't need to pre-press the aluminum. I haven't seen an issue where I had to do that. I do have to take this blue off so that then you can see the sublimation area. So just make sure you take that off before you sublimate. Otherwise you'll be like, what is going on here? This image doesn't look right. So make sure you do that. I have some clean butcher paper down right here. So I'm gonna put this on my heat press. Actually, I'm not, not yet. I like to, if you've seen my previous videos, you know I like to put my, my design down and then line it up by putting it on the, on upside down. So I'm just gonna kind of make sure that our words are not getting cut off. I printed a lot of extra around the edges because I did not want to miss a spot plus they did not provide a template for this i kind of had to make my own using the nope i gonna do that i'm afraid that'll we'll do it like this just afraid that'll if i fold it over i won't be able to take it off so i'm using my heat tape to tape this down so they did not provide a template, so I kind of had to just create my own using my tape measure. So I also went a little bit larger just to be safe that I did all my measurements correctly. So I'm just taping this around so this will hold down, and then we're going to flip it over. Okay, so we're just going to flip and have that right like that. So your substrate, your item is on the bottom with the paper on the top. And then I'm going to put my clean butcher paper back on top. You want to make sure you have clean butcher paper because, again, when you sublimate, the inks gas up. And so you want to make sure they're being caught by the paper and not by your press because then you'll be sad. I have my heat press set to 380, 385 Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. So we're just going to go ahead and let that run. I do have my pressure loosened up a little bit. That's why it was so easy to close. All right, and there we go. So we're going to lift up the paper. Oh, very nice. You can see again. We don't want to save this. You can see if you, I don't know if you can see that, I can kind of the design of the license plate frame around the edges there. So I'm going to make sure that I put that to the side so I don't accidentally reuse it. I'm going to get my handy dandy heat glove on. I think I only need one so that I can peel this off. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, oh, it's so cute. I love it. Actually, I'm going to need my other heat club because it's pretty hot and I don't want to burn my fingers here. And that tape because I stuck it to it like that. There we go. Oh, yeah, I can actually feel that through even through my heat glove. I still have plenty of ink still on there don't worry about that it I mean it obviously transferred very well to the substrate but you can definitely see where that was in fact I might even keep this to make myself a template kind of like that um, and so we're going to flip this over and just take this tape off boop 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 Hot. Woo! I can feel the heat because of it being the metal I can definitely feel the heat through my heat gloves, which is crazy. These are brand new, but that's really hot. But it turned out so nice. One of our good friends, she has chickens and she's always selling everybody her eggs. 
So we figured for her birthday this year, this is just the perfect little gift. She's a professional chicken tender. And so I created this design and I think it turned out beautiful. Yay. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Now you're gonna go out and make your own personalized license plate frame cover and it's gonna be really cute. Can't wait to see some pictures from you guys. And if you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to give it that thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can be notified when I post my next video. Thanks for swinging by my channel. Bye.